and they've gotten over a thousand comments. And on mine, what I had is I had maybe a hundred people enter. But the goal is so to I get think, sales for the customer, for your brands, right? The goal is to get customers, not comments, right? Mm -hmm. So, does it really matter? Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Jade Derma Wong Zhou. We're about to uh, call you guys up. This is the Ask Jade Show, episode six. We are going to help you grow on Instagram, answer your deepest, darkest questions. Make sure you stay to the very end if you want to know how you can be on the next Ask Jade Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got the mom here up in here. Say hi, mom. Stressful day at the Jade headquarters. Last time it was an ASM audition. We got the whole space now at the library. That's because Jack, dad is here. The dad is here. Hello? Hey, you're on the Ask Jade show. Hi, uh, how's every? Well, first of all, I want to say um, I'm a huge fan of yours ever since you started. I, I just wanted to give a big shout out to just like how you've been helping thousands and thousands of people just getting into just Instagram. Or just and entrepreneurship or whatever they're into. I just really, I really want to just like give you a shout out for, for that. I really admired that. James, huge thanks, super appreciated. How, that is really, that means a lot. What can I do for you today? Yeah, yeah so um, basically, so um, I am trying to take a, an approach uh, to my Instagram to kind of blend in more of a public figure uh, or uh, more of like a lifestyle sort of. I, by the way, I'm looking at your page and it's really, it looks really good. The visuals are on point. So my question for you is if, if you want more of a strategy to help you obviously grow, what's your goal? Like, why do you want to bring lifestyle in? Do you want to become the personal brand instead of your photography being the brand? Like, what do you want? What's your goal? So yes, the main goal is to become more of a personal branding. Okay. I feel as though uh, through engagement with my audience, uh, it's becoming more than just the photography. I, a lot of my audience is beginning to really enjoy uh, the vlogs or the captions. Who is your audience do you think that you have and how many more would you like, I guess? Or like, do you just want to become more personal? Like, do you want to grow? Like, who is it? So my audience, ta my target audience right now is uh, 18 to, I would say about 35. Who who are they? Who are they? Who are those 18 to 35 year olds? Are they, like, there's a lot of them in the world. So what is it? Like, are you trying to attract photographers, more clients? Like, why? Who is it? Why? I'm trying to attract uh, more, more, more. I guess you could say uh, viewers towards uh, my Instagram page and more clients. Okay, so you want clients. Who are your clients? Are they models that have money, or are they just everyday people that are like kids? Who are your? Who is it? Uh, people, like clients with with money. Okay. As well, yeah. So then you. So that's why I'm. I'm being because you're gonna have a different approach than getting some random uh, like random people on the street. You know, you now you have to find people that they can afford your services. So that's why I ask. So this is what I would say. People that want to work with you typically, how do you find them currently? Are they word of mouth? Like to, uh, to mouth as okay. of now. Uh, I, I've worked with, you know, like with music artists. Got it. Okay, so people that have money are the business or people who own the artists. I would go to management companies yeah. and be like, yo, can we do like an Instagram live together? You want to attract people that have the actual potential to afford your services, not use like, you know, maybe I would, m most people I would tell them like, okay, go run your little Facebook ad. But for this time, like I would go to directly to the people that own the artists, which is tech is typically mm -hmm. the um, talent management company. So what I would do to get more personal is in this case, you actually don't need to become that personal. You just need to make your name um, have give leverage and give people that are on management companies the information they want so I don't know honestly what's valuable to them but it might not be like hey what's up you guys welcome to my life for management companies because you want clients it might be more like here is how here is how I post people and this is how I make it so it, it looks so good and this is why you need me so you have to just position yourself as more of someone that gives advice on maybe posing or the the elements of a good visual piece and then that will be more valuable than like hey what's up you guys welcome to my life especially when you kind of want money from these people, um, unless you want just like a little fan base, which is different. So I would say my biggest tip is in captions, I would just maybe write more about 
the, the process, the behind the scenes, and maybe that will be more valuable. You have to play around, but from what hearing you, I think you got to approach more uh, the business of artists, like the people who run them. Definitely agree with that. I've been I've been taking a stab at it uh, a lot more recently, a lot of sense. I mean, so listen, thank you so much. Yeah, James, one strategy perfect. at a time. So what I'm telling you right now is focus on management. But hey. Next month, focus on another thing. So I, I named one thing for March for you, but I would highly suggest to also bounce around, see what gets you the clients are landing and make some money from this awesome Instagram lifestyle. So James, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to hop to next. Hello. Hey, you're on the Ask Jade show. Hey, Jade. It's so good to actually talk to you. Oh my gosh. Oh, so Thank cool. you. Hi, Jen. How are you? Well, I wanted to talk about giveaways and how to go about doing a proper giveaway as a small influencer. Love it. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I am promoting a lot of local brands and local places, local musicians, that kind of thing on my page. So I wanted to really focus on doing that for a giveaway, except I don't really know, like, how do I know when is a good time to do it? Um, what's the proper way of actually going about it? Okay, so what's your objective? Like, why do you want to do a giveaway again? I want to just kind of thank my followers. I was just recently promoted on Narcity, and when I was on Narcity, I got a bunch of new followers, all from my city. So I kind of want to just, like, thank people for coming to my page, but I'm not sure if that's, like, the proper way to do it. Mm, what's your goal? Do you just want to be like, yo, I appreciate you. I want the follower to feel like I have that relationship or do you want to grow more? Like, do you want to use this as a bait to get word of mouth for people to like tag three friends? Like, what is it? Um, what I really want to do is I want people to tag their friends. I just want to really kind of build the relationship. I don't necessarily want more followers or anything because I did just have a flow of them come in not too long ago. So I um, well, I'm, I'm the creator, so like I'll go to a bunch of different local places oh. and just tell people about my experiences. Um, and then I'm also a musician myself, okay. so I'll post every once in a while. Um, Love it. Okay, by the way, your feet is so cute. Everyone go follow Jen. I'm going to link it right here. Boop. Okay, so I gave you a little pop tag. I want to let you know that you want the relationship, right? So most people will be like, okay, Jen, time to give away that Yeezy Supreme, because that's what people want. I would say you want to build something, so instead of like doing like tag three friends or something kind of random, maybe just because hearing what you're saying, get your email list, ask people instead of, because you have so many asks, like you can't really ask people to follow, like share, like everything at once is overwhelming. So this is what I would do. I would give away a product people care about, AKA the brands you're working with, ask them for your, their email, like get a little web page. You can, it's something free, like leadpages.com, it's free. And just get their email so you can constantly shoot them something that's personal and you can actually build your own audience instead of using Instagram followers because Instagram owns your people. Like, do you understand? Like Instagram has full control. They can literally shadow ban you whenever they want. Um, I'm just really like, cause the thing is, is like, I don't have my own website. So like collecting emails might not like, I don't see that working as well for myself just because I don't have like a website and I don't have the time to be emailing people. The reason why I really wanted to ask this particular question was because in the past that one giveaway, I did feature about seven brands and I didn't get as big of, um, of a turnout as I wanted to. Like mm. I have food blogger friends, for example, and they um, have just done a few giveaways just in the past few weeks and they've gotten over a thousand comments on their, on their posts. And on mine, what I had is I had maybe a hundred people enter. But the goal is so to I'm, get I'm, sales for the customer, for your brands, right? The goal is to get customers, not comments, right? Mm -hmm. So, th does it really matter? This is my thing, girl. You're trying to help these smaller local businesses because you have a passion. Also, I get, I'm assuming you get commission, right? Or do you have a little plan for helping these smaller local businesses? Yeah, I just want to help them grow and kind of build the relationships with them so that I can have the potential to work with them in the future No, again. you you also um, want to work with them because you're going to get money, correct, right, in the future? Yeah, I want to, I okay. want to get paid. So let's focus right on now, money, right? Like okay, build, we're like, right. So you're doing this maybe for free, which is so like so nice of you because this is going to be a lot of work on your end because I want to get you to the point where you're actually delivering results. Do you actually think those brands with thousands of comments are making money behind the back? They're just doing this because they it looks good, right? A thousand comments looks good. What makes money is the relationships you build. How do you build relationships? By owning direct to consumer relationship. I really implore you to maybe 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 websites too much. 
make a little email list. A brand will love you for, a, oh, if you have a thousand email lists, that is worth more money than your entire Instagram account in general because you have their address. And again, you can use leadpages.com, it's free. It's like a little, um, it's an opt-in server. So basically people just type it in, you get a notification and you can use an automation software like MailChimp. This is all Googleable, Googleable. Um, yeah, just literally create the own audience because you actually want to bring sales and what makes money isn't comments and shares and likes, it's actually driving traffic to the address you have. So example, if you ever build an email list, like Jen's email list about local cool things, that is more valuable to a brand. I'm telling you, if you're working with brands, the owner will value email lists rather than comments. Unless you're trying to give them Instagram followers, you can do everything kind of on top, but because I'm just kind of giving you information that's more new, I would honestly do that. That makes more money. That makes more results because you need to show the brand that you're actually delivering people that come to your store. And with emails, you can do coupons. You can literally send them stuff that will get them to get out of their butt, out of their chair, on their phone, to their store. That's more better than comments. I think maybe you should focus on that. In addition to everything, I'm just trying to give you a new perspective. Yeah, no, that's definitely, I actually really like that perspective because in that way, the brand will also see exactly who I'm bringing. Yes, it's, it's so much clearer. Like right? Yeah, so I, I like that idea. Okay, Jen, I hope that was helpful. You can always shoot me a DM. I'm gonna hop to the next call. So nice talking to you. Shout out to the car winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Dad, while I'm talking, he makes this all up. Guys, do me a favor, Dharma Nation, like this video if you enjoyed it so far. Subscribe if you'd like to join the Dharma Nation. Uh, just want to give you guys some love and a pointer. Don't build a car to Bali, right, Dad? If you want to go to Bali, if you want to go to Bali, buy a ticket. Buy a ticket. Don't build bikes. Don't build bikes. So many of you guys, which means don't like bike to bali because it's impossible if you're trying to have a goal an objective make sure you have the vehicle to get you there not something that you think is going to work because a lot of you guys are building something that looks cool on the outside but doesn't get you to where you want for example getting likes and comments all doesn't all doesn't okay it does translate to sales but if you want short term like if you want to get sales that are results that are provable Build an email list. Build something that actually has proof to the brand, especially if you guys are like in a B2B space. You can't just say like, okay, look at these thousand comments. The brand owner is going to be like, what am I going to do with that? <laughs>